I get a lot of questions about rotation and direction of flow of centrifugal pumps. Uh, a lot of pumps have no markings. This one does have an arrow right here indicating the direction of flow. Sometimes there'll be an arrow someplace else indicating direction of flow or rotation. Sometimes they're not clearly marked. Here's how you tell. You do have two ports, water in, water out. Uh, and you can see that there is a scroll to that pump. That is the direction of rotation. It goes with the scroll. And this outlet of the scroll, this one right here, is the outlet. This is the inlet. Uh, the water comes in this side, goes is forced around that scroll and out that side. So the direction of rotation as you're facing this one is counterclockwise because the direction of that scroll is counterclockwise. Here is a different kind of pump. This is an end suction pump, but you can see again you still have this scroll and the discharge is that way. That makes this one by default the suction side, so the water is going to come in here. The rotation of the motor should be this way, and it's going to be coming out this spot right here. That is how you determine the rotation. This is a little bit bigger pump, but again, you can see that scrolling coming around this way. The rotation, again, as we're facing it, would be counterclockwise, and the water is going to discharge here. This is the suction side on that pump. Here we have another example of an end suction pump. As you can see, you have the suction side, the discharge side, and you can see that scrolling. So the direction of rotation is going to be counterclockwise as we're facing the inlet of the pump. The water is going to come out right here. Just to show you that there are no rules, here we have a smaller pump, but as you can see, the scroll goes in the opposite direction. Looking at the pump from this side, we have a clockwise rotation. Here is the suction side, the water comes in goes around this way and comes out there. Again, your rotation on this one, you can see it uh, scrolling, uh, and you are going in the direction of the scroll. Okay, right here we have an impeller. This is what is on the inside of the pump. The water goes in this part right here. This is called the suction eye. You can see there are some veins on the inside here. These veins are rising like this. The impeller turns this way with those veins rising. The water comes out here. That is what pushes the water out that scroll. Uh, when I first looked at one of these, I thought it would turn this way, scooping the water in and forcing it out the front. It does not work like that. The water comes in the front. The water is forced up on those veins, levered up, if you will, and out the scroll. So this pump, if you're looking at the impeller and don't have the volute, you can tell which way this rotates by watching those veins rise. This one is turning counterclockwise from the front. From the motor side, it would be clockwise. Here is a smaller example of an impeller, and you can see the veins on that are reversed from the other one. This one would turn this direction. Water going in here, being forced up through this, and out the scroll. So this one, as we're looking at the front of it, would be a clockwise rotation from the motor side counterclockwise. Here we have another example of an impeller. This one is a little smaller and a little thinner, but it still has the veins that rise up. Those veins, again, do rise the water up, pushing it out. So this one is rotating counterclockwise. Uh, there's lots of different configurations, but the, the dynamics do not change. Water goes in the front, is forced out this side with the rising veins. That is your direction of rotation. Back to the first volute that we looked at. We can see again here is the direction of rotation. We can tell that because the way it scrolls, this is the discharge, this is the inlet. If you reversed the rotation, so the impeller is spinning in there the wrong way, this is still going to be the out outlet. This is still going to be the inlet. It does not change the direction of flow. It will change the flow rate. It will change the amount of pressure the pump makes. But this scroll, as long as that impeller is making pressure, is going to force the water out this side. The only way to change the direction of flow is to turn that casing around in the pipe. Uh, reversing the rotation will not change the direction of flow. It will just affect how much it flows and how much pressure the pump makes. Because I know you're interested, we're going to take a look at the back side of the pump. This is the volute with the impeller in it. You can see the scrolling goes this direction. That's your suction side. There is where the water comes into the impeller. That suction side of the impeller goes right in there. There's where the water comes in. That impeller spins, forcing the water out in the direction of that scroll. This is a much bigger pump right here, but you can still see that scroll. You can still see where the suction 
comes in, side comes in to the beginning of the impeller, and you have the scrolling that goes this way, so this makes this the discharge side right here. That is the suction side over there. Hope all this has helped.